So is the new NVIDIA RTX 3060 a good GPU for deep learning? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. It's a neat card that has just been released by NVIDIA. Actually, it's coming out next week, February 25th. So let's take a look at this from a deep learning perspective. So a lot going on here with various announcements related to this 3060 card. There was a blog post just really yesterday from NVIDIA talking about GeForce is made for gaming, CMP is made to mine. They're coming out with a new line of GPUs made just for crypto mining, in particular Ethereum and other types of crypto mining that are still common on GPUs. I'll have another video where I talk about is CMP good for deep learning? In short, no, it's not. But the 3060, I think, really is a great entry level card for deep learning from what I'm seeing. You can, and I don't have one of these cards available to, to me, which is not some, I'm not a hardware comparison channel, so that's not really something I'm looking to do at this point. But if we look at it, it's $329, assuming you're able to get one. And the way they're kind of blocking the crypto miners from this, you probably will be able to get one of these. We'll see how that all turns out. There's already the 3060 Ti, but this straight up 3060 has a bit more memory. Let's look at the specs. And I like Tom's hardware, it hits the sweet spot. We'll see what, why I think it does as well. So if we look at the specs on the 3060 line, you can see the, the CUDA cores. Now for deep learning, I want as many CUDA cores as I can get. I want as much RAM as I can get, as much memory. However, budgetary constraints play into that. So in the $300 range, what's very good about this card, and they show, that's the TI, but I would assume the 3060 looks similar. I assume this card would be able to be used as kind of a hybrid between gaming probably not the most crazy high-end gaming if you're wanting to do, I don't know, 8K at 300 frames a second, if there is even such a thing, which there isn't. Uh, probably other cards you would look at, but look at this. It's 12 gigabytes of RAM. I've always found with the deep learning that I do with my class, with 90% of what I am doing, 12 to 16 gigabytes is kind of the, the, the sweet spot, really 10 to 10 to 16. At 12, you can do a lot of the GAN generations, even at 1024 by 1024. Now it's going to be slow because you have the, you don't have as many cores as the high end cards. You could, in theory, put multiples of these on the computer, you're not gonna be able to NVLink them, but on something like GAN, it doesn't really care. Now, I think this card is also hitting the sweet spot for crypto mining, which is why there's essentially an artificial barrier that NVIDIA is putting in there to cause the hash rate to, to cut in half, basically, for crypto miners. At this setup, I mean, they are using lots of GPUs. And crypto miner, I mean, if you look at my computer here, I've got one GPU in there. If this was a crypto mining rig, I'd probably flip it on its side and use risers, which are basically cables almost that fit into the card slot and then fit into the GPU. And I would just stack those GPUs onto there. So I don't know, it would be interesting. You could potentially make a mining rig, maybe put like four or six 3090s on a system, or or heck, if you've really got the money, four or six A6000s on a system, and build your own uh, DGX. Build your own poor man's DGX, basically. I think this would be a good entry-level deep learning card because you've got the 12 gigabytes of RAM, and it it's not going to tell you you can't do anything as much, so long as it fits in the 12 gig. Which is, a, which is most of the stuff we do in my class in deep learning, 
it just might do it a little bit slower at the 3584. I, I don't compare it exactly, but it'd be interesting to look at how that would compare to not Google Colab Pro, but standard edition Google Colab, because then you could, you'd be running this on your own computer as opposed to the Google Cloud. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're interested in deep learning using GPUs for artificial intelligence, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.